Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail polish review and I'm using, of course, two colors that I've yet to use <clears throat> and um, I'm using like a, sorry, a, um, this color by Essie. I am generally not an Essie person. I've had some difficulty with the Essie polishes, so I generally stay away from them, but I'm a sucker for grays, and so I could not resist this one. This one is Cashmere Bathrobe. number 847 and this is what it looks like it is a gray with some um, sorry with some shimmer in it and I'm not sure how well you can see the shimmer but it's like got some fine looks like silver glitter in it so and this is cashmere bathrobe And this next color is also a, a recent release. This one is from Revlon. This is from the Perfumery collection. This one is called Spun Sugar. And it's a, like, grayish silver color, maybe with hints of, like, gold. I don't know, like a, more like a pewter color, like the color, pewter faucet type color. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I've not tried any scented nail polish. I do have some of Revlon's older scented nail polishes that I picked up from Big Lots, but I've yet to try them. They're like in bags waiting to be used. So I'm going to be using these two polishes for today's manicure, so let me go ahead and get set up for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the polish application. I'm not sure how I'm going to do them. It just depends upon which polish is um, more opaque um, than the other. Um, I might just do every other nail, and, or I may do... Um, just like an accent nail I'm not sure just do two accent nails on one hand we will see once I get them applied so um, this is the Revlon spun sugar and since this is a scented polish I have no clue what spun sugar is supposed to smell like so and from what I've seen from other people who've used the used these polishes, the scent, you don't smell the actual scent until after it starts drying on your nail. I mean, it smells like regular nail polish when you, at first. So, let me go ahead and start applying this. And I generally, I have, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've used a Revlon polish. Now this one applies really, really nicely, but because it is like that true metallic, you're gonna see brush strokes. And then this one has like a wonky, um, sorry, like a wonky hair. Hanging off, so I'm gonna have to cut that off but here is one coat actually it's nice and um, pretty opaque for one coat so I'm probably just gonna keep with the one coat I mean this looks really nice I might try to just to see if it helps with the um, um, oh, what do you call it with the opacity but or with the brush strokes, help with the brush strokes. So I'm just gonna clean up here. And basically I just take an angle, this is just an angled eyeliner brush that I'm using, um, just to get around the edges. And with like metallics and glitters, I find that it's easier to clean up as you go, instead of waiting until the very end. I find that the metallics, you end up kind of having to do a little bit of scrubbing 
in, which means you may end up messing up your um, polish. And the polish remover that I'm using today is the Beauty Secrets one. And unfortunately, it does not, I, I don't feel like it cleans up as well. Like as you can see, I'm like rubbing over this and it's like barely cleaning that up. And that, while it's not drying my skin and turning it white, um, I don't want to, it, I don't care for it to take as much time, you know, cleaning up. So, um, so yeah, I may have to try a different one. I'm kind of sad I should have got the smaller bottle, but the bigger bottle was like $5.99 at Sally's and the smaller bottle was $3.99. So I figured I was getting a better value. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I don't want to just, you know, waste it and not use it, but um, I don't know. So this next color that I'm applying is the Cashmere Bathrobe by Essie. And I think this was from the winter, newly released winter collection, I think. Or it could have been uh, the fall. I'm not exactly sure. I really don't keep up with Essie. And then also, sadly, I found out that the Essie gel polish system is only for professional use. Sadly. Because I really wanted to try, or at least depending upon the price, see, you know, try their gel polish system. I mean, because I do, I must say I do like a lot of Essie's colors, just not, haven't been particularly pleased with the formula. Now this one is so much better than the um, Bouncer Is Me. That is like the world's worst formula ever. So that's pretty nice. So, and that's just one coat. So I am very, very pleased with this one. And um, I don't know if it's just like certain types where it's got cream polishes with shimmer, if those work better because the majority of the polishes that I have from Essie, um, I think I have one straight clean cream color and it's called So Psyched. So it's spelled P S. E W, um, and then I think the other ones are kind of I think pretty much metallics that I've tried. So and those metallics are pretty much the ones that I have not had good luck with. Other than the bouncer, it's me. That one's like a a neon polish. So so there are the two colors. So very very pleased with both of these. And I think it's a really nice contrast with the dark and the light. So I probably will just do every other nail and then do it the opposite on my right hand. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and um, finish the rest of my nails and then come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I have a finish, have a finish, have finished applying my base colors. And this is how they look. I only apply one coat of each polish and I think they're very perfectly opaque. Um, as you can see the Essie Polish Cashmere Bathrobe is much shinier than the um, Revlon Spun Sugar. Um, no application issues for either polish at all absolutely love them both. Um, this is the brush for the Essie polish and the formula has a regular consistency, not thick. Uh oh. Jeez and rice. It's not thick, not thin, the perfect consistency. So absolutely love this. If you haven't tried, pick this one up. You should definitely pick it up if you're into grays. And it is like a shimmery gray with like very, very fine gray um, silver. And looks like kind of red is shimmer, which it's not, you're not going to see the sh shimmer probably on camera. 
at least not the red, but I mean, it is pretty visible. Like you can see it there. It just looks like silver shimmer, but you can actually see it on the nail. Um, the Perfumery Polish in, by Revlon in Spun Sugar applies very well. Um, a kind of thicker formula, but most metallics are thicker. Um, just the one little issue with the brush hair that hangs out. A regular size brush, about the same size as Essie. Both brushes do fan out really great and give you, you know, fairly clean lines. Oh, I forgot to clean that up. Fairly clean lines at the um, base of the nail or whatever. So really, really enjoyed them both. The scent for this um, Sugar Spawn, kind of kind of a stronger scent I, I mean spun sugar I don't know what it doesn't smell like sugar like it's not a sweet smell it smells kind of like some type of like like an oil kind of like you know those oil based like the you know regular perfumes and then they have, you can buy the rollerball oil versions of it it kind of has that type of scent to it, and it is pretty fragrant. So, I mean, I guess it just depends. I guess it's more of like a, almost like a musky smell, I guess. I'm so horrible at describing scents. Um, so I can't really say, I would just suggest, well, like you, because you don't really smell it if you just open the bottle and smell it. It smells like regular polish if you just open the bottle and smell it. I mean, you don't really get the true scent of the perfume until, um, sorry, I'm just trying to clean up this mess on my nail. But um, you don't get the true scent until after the polish starts to dry. I will say the Revlon Perfumery, it actually dries pretty, pretty quickly. Much um, quicker than this one. This one dries like regular, but this one dries fairly quickly. A lot of metallics do generally dry quicker. So all in all, extremely pleased with both polishes, Essie's Cashmere Bathrobe and Revlon's new line, Perfumery line in Spun Sugar. So definitely check them out. Um, only thing I can say about the perfumer is you can see the brush strokes, but I'm gonna be stamping over this, so it's not really a big deal for me, but highly recommend, check them out. Let me know if you've tried either of these and what you thought, especially if you've tried this, the Revlon one, and what you thought about the scent. Um, if you felt like it was kind of strong and kind of like a more muskier smell, so doesn't make me think of anything of the smell of sugar but then again it's not like i work in like a sugar refinery meal so i don't know how sugar naturally smells so i don't know but doesn't make me think of spun sugar or sugar period but that's it thank you for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye